in bargain bliss. Bliss, bliss, bliss. Todd, we talked about this. But our deals are just so epic. I know, Todd. I know. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Rekindle your perfect combination at Pachanga Resort Casino, where you can play it cool with hot hands and warm hearts at the Changa Resort Casino. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Breaking news at 5 a.m. A South L.A. pursuit ends in a deadly crash that took out three cars. New details from the scene. Plus, out of RVs and into homes, dozens of people who used to live on the streets of East Gardena now have a safe place to call home. And getaway gridlock. Thanksgiving travelers hitting the roads in record numbers. The day before Thanksgiving. Good morning. I'm Leslie Sykes along with John Gregory and Rachel Brown. And it looks like they're going to have great weather to sit in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun, Leslie You're Lopez. You're so right. Great weather. Beautiful. Oh, Roll down the roll window. Down the you'll windows. get a tan on one side of your face. Oh, California. <laughs> You're lucky to be here. It's going to be 80. I know it's going to be nice outside. If you can just try to stick around and not move, it'll be really pretty. 78 to 79 degrees this afternoon. Orange County 79, Inland Empire Valley Community 79 degrees. We are going to see a whole lot of sunshine today. It's going to be warm. It's still going to be dry, but we don't have the wind, so that's some good news here. Beach Community 77, the mountains 55, high deserts just about 60s. See anything really affecting the freeway? And so it's just right at Imperial Highway, but you don't see anything really affecting the freeway lanes. We don't know when that off ramp at Imperial Highway will be reopened, so just a heads up. If that is your off ramp, just to allow for a little extra time to either get off before or after and take some side streets to get to where you're going. And then on the 91 eastbound, as you're leaving Anaheim Hills toward Corona, we do have a full freeway closure due to some road work at Green River Road, and that is causing some delays in an area. We typically don't see it on the eastbound side of the 91 until about 6 a.m. this morning as you're getting closer to that 71 connector. We'll have another check in just a little bit. It's John, Leslie, Rachel, back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you very much. And we have some breaking news, and Brianna just was mentioning it. One person is dead after a pursuit ended in a violent crash in South LA. It happened around 2.30 this morning on Imperial Highway near Broadway. Video shows a covered body at the scene. It also appears that three cars were involved in the crash, and we do have a live look at the scene. The CHP says that deputies began the pursuit before CHP took over. It's not clear why officers tried to pull over the driver or if anyone was arrested. We are working to find out more details about the victim. Happening now, it's expected to be another busy travel day at airports. An estimated 2.7 million people are expected to fly somewhere in the United States today. LAX is expecting about 223,000 pa passengers today alone. The TSA could screen 2.9 million people on Sunday, which, sheds, which set a record as everyone heads home after Thanksgiving. We'll have a live report from LAX in our next half hour. And happening today, it's expected to be the busiest day on the roads as millions of people get ready to start their holiday weekend. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Eric Resendiz joins us live from New Hall with more on those conditions out there. Eric, hi. John, Leslie, Rachel, as you can see right behind me, that's the 5 freeway, and traffic is flowing as usual, but this afternoon, the roads will be packed. Now, take a look. This is a look from Air 7 over one of uh, an infamous freeways here in Southern California. That's the 405. Now, it shows what looks like a candy cane, just streams of red and white lights. Nearly 50 million people in the U.S. are expected to drive to their, their, to their Thanksgiving destination this year, and nearly 4 million Southern Southern Californians will hit the road. And while gas prices are not cheap, especially compared to the rest of the country, Gas Buddy says prices at the pump are looking better than last year. Overall, Americans are going to be greeted with gas prices that on average are about 45 cents lower than what they were last year. It always can pay to shop around, especially with prices now declining for nine straight weeks. Some stations are lowering their prices much quicker than others. Now for folks traveling between